How to do a firmware update on a VOFO dash camera. I'm Ben from Safe Drive Solutions, your dash cam specialist, and in this video we're going to show you how to do an update on a VOFO A229, A139 Pro, WM1, A119 Mini, and an A129 Pro. So we're going to dive right in and just show you the step-by-step -step on how to do it. First things first, we're going to show you how to find the firmware version that's currently on your dash camera. Let's go. So when looking for a firmware update, one of the first things you want to do is go to viofo.com and go to the support tab. And as you can see here, here's the support tab. And if we're looking for new firmware updates or, you know, owner's manuals, those types of things, it's all in here. So now what we want to do is we want to locate our dash camera. Depending which dash camera we have installed in our vehicle, we're going to want to find that particular one. And we want to look to see if there's a new firmware update. So for this example, we're going to use the A139 Pro. So I'm going to click on the A139 Pro. And then as you can see right here, it says firmware. So I can click on firmware. It's going to pop up down below and it's showing me that there's a brand new update. It optimized app live stream, optimized GPS stamp, optimized video quality and other bug fixes. So right here we can see directly that there is a firmware update. Now is your dash camera most up to date? Probably not, but in case we wanted to figure out where that is, I'm going to show you a video of where to find the firmware for the five dash cameras that we were just talking about at the beginning of this video. And then we're going to show you how to take the SD card out, where the SD card is located on the unit, and how to download this firmware and do the update on the particular dash camera. So in order to find the current firmware of the dash cameras, we're going to log in via the app. Now, if you have a dash camera that doesn't have an app, then you're going to want to go into the LCD screen and you want to scroll all the way to the bottom. So we can see here's the current firmware for the A139 Pro. Here is the current firmware for the Viofo A229. Here is the current firmware for the Viofo A129 Pro. Here is the current firmware for the A119 Mini. And here is the current firmware for the WM1. And as you can see next to all these videos, I showed you what the new firmware was that was available, as well as what the firmware that was on the unit. So let's go to the next step of where is the SD card on each of these units to show you where to remove them so that we can put them into the computer and uh, move forward. So first things first, what we wanna do is locate the SD card on all these units. So here's the A139 Pro and the SD card is right here on the side. You just wanna use your fingernail to push, push in and it'll pop out and there we have the SD card on the A139 Pro. The A229 here, it's just on the side. You use your fingernail and you can take that out as well. Let's go to the A119 Mini. As you can see right here on the side, you can pop that out the uh, brand new Viofo WM1 SD card on the side and the Viofo A129 Pro right there on the side you can pop out. So here's the big thing now is what do you do with this SD card now, now that you have it out? Well there's a couple different things you can do. One uh, you can use the SD card adapter. 
right? A lot of times people think these are full-size SD cards. They're not. They're just an adapter for the micro SD card. And you can place this in here. Now, your computer, it really depends on whether or not your computer actually supports this adapter. Now, if it does not, most computers on the market are probably supporting USB, right? So most VOFO dash cameras come with this adapter in the box. And basically you can take this and enter the SD card into it and plug it into your computer. Now, if you got a fancy schmancy new Mac computer that uh, doesn't actually have USB inputs at all, it has a USB-C input, well, then make sure you get yourself one of these adapters if you don't have one, right? You can buy them online, and basically this will plug in now into there, and then allow me to plug this directly in to my computer. Now, obviously, this depends on what type of computer you have. I'm using a Mac computer for the sake of this entire demo. So let's go forward with showing you how to uh, download the file, put it onto the actual micro SD card, and do an update on the dash camera. Fiofo's website again, and like I showed you before, the A139 Pro has a new update available. So I can click download and it's going to show up into my downloaded files. So I'm gonna drag my downloaded files over and as you can see right here at the top of my downloads is the new firmware, the 139p.bin. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is you should have on your desktop something that says no name or VOFO that actually pops up. And as you can see, I have some files on the VOFO A139 Pro. I'm going to delete those files. I'm going to, now some people, you can format it as well, but I can drag and drop from my download files and put that onto the actual micro SD card. And then what I want to do is I want to make sure to safely eject it. So right here, I'm going to hit the eject button. And now we're going to take it over to showing you how to put it into the dash camera, power it up and do an update. So we've put the SD card back into the unit and now we're going to go and power the unit back up. So we obviously have a test bench. Most people are going to be doing this in their vehicle, or you might bring your USB cord from your car charger in there. As you can see, the red light on the REC just starts blinking randomly. Okay, this it's not going to say update started. It's not going to say update complete or anything. How you're going to know that it is fully updated is a couple different ways. One, when it's done, it's going to tell you that it started recording one channel recording. Wait for it. Recording, one channel started. And that's how you know that it's finished the update. The other thing is, is we're gonna go directly back into the app and inside the app, it will actually show you whether or not we've gone and successfully updated to the newer version of the app. So as you can see here on the actual app, we've logged in and we have the newest firmware, which means we've successfully done it. Thanks for watching our video. Hopefully you learned how to do the firmware update on your Vyofo dash camera. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If specifically you're looking for how to do it on your Microsoft computer, we unfortunately do not use any Microsoft computers, so I do not have any videos available for you. Happy to help, but it is, should be very similar in process on how you do it. Anyways, thanks again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.